Hi, in this demo, we're going to show how we can use Terraform to add Azure managed identities to our virtual machine infrastructure. There are two types of managed identities that we are going to demonstrate today. The first is system assigned identity and the second being user assigned identity. So let's dive straight into the code. Here we have a very simple definition of a virtual machine in Azure. The first thing that we need to do to add a managed identity to this is to add an identity block to its description. Now in this block, we need to specify what type of managed identity we would like to add to this. So we will go with system assigned for this demo. Okay. Now that we have the identity described within the virtual machine, we now need to give the identity some permissions. Now, the way that we go about doing that is by adding role assignments. So we will add that here. And we're going to call this resource example. So here we have the principal ID that we need to specify. Now, in this case, the principal will be the managed identity that we have assigned to the virtual machine. So let's go ahead and refer to that. So now we've specified that, we now need to give it a scope. Now the scope will be the subscription that is going to have permissions to operate within. We have a data source for this, so we will add that here. We need to add one more thing here. That will be the role definition ID. The role definition is the permission that we're actually assigning to the managed identity. So we'll go ahead and add that in this. And there you have it. If we run this in as a plan, we shall see that this will work. For the second part of the demo, we will show how we can use a user assigned managed identity with the virtual machine infrastructure. To do that, we're going to build on the code that we did from the system assigned example, and we're going to refactor a couple of things. So let's get back to it. The first thing we need to do is actually provision the identity itself. So we can do that with an additional resource. And that resource is called Azure RM underscore user assigned identity. And we'll give this a name, which is example. Okay. Now there are only three parameters that we need to configure for this. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we need to give this a name. So let's call it example again. And now we need to specify the resource group that this will be assigned to. So again, we can add this. And there we have it. The next thing we need to do is we need to reassign the role to this identity. At the moment, we have it pointing to the system assigned identity in the virtual machine, but we will change that. Okay. So if we refactor this and we will say Azure RM user assigned identity dot example dot principal ID. And everything else should remain the same. The last thing we need to do is actually assign this identity to the virtual machine itself. So here we would just refactor this. So instead of it being system assigned, we would change that to user assigned. The next thing we need to do is give it the identity itself. 
So here we can add the identities ID as a list and it would be Azure RM user identity dot example dot principal ID. And with that, we should be able to run a virtual machine with a user assigned managed identity attached to it. Let's run the Terraform plan and test that. And there we have it. We have three resources to add to that. The first being the actual identity itself, the second being the role assignment, and the third being the virtual machine. So to recap, we have looked at how Terraform can be used to add managed identities to our virtual machine infrastructure. We looked at two types, the first being system assigned identities and the second being user assigned identities. I hope you have found this demo useful and thank you very much for joining me.